one live. You're now watching two old farts making noises. We are here with the news. What's up, news? I'm here with the news. Yes, I just finally took a note. Uh, oh, by the way, I want to tell you something. Yeah. One of the one of the girls from Social Intercourse watched your show the other day, and she said, "When is she going to change her intro?" Because my niece said, "Is this a children's show?" So I'm just saying, news. What I just do right now: make a new intro for the show. Okay. There you go. So yes. So I actually just ordered a planner. You know, okay. Oh, congratulations. Days and the weeks and everything. Oh. So that it's very clear what I have to do instead of making lists in every place. And then. Gotcha. I don't know how you do oh, are, you, are you a post it lady, Noosh? You have lots of post its around the house. Not, no, I have big lists everywhere. And it's just, it's not working out. Yeah. I know that every time that I put on a planner, I do make it happen. So, so do you have a list? Do you have a list for your list then? Is that what happens? <laughs> I guess I do. Wait, what? Yeah. Look at this. I have an angel right here sitting. I Happy see that. Birthday. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I have the night. All right. Happy first, by the way, everybody. It's September 1st. Yes, it's a very exciting. Yeah. You know what happens on September 1st? Yeah, uh, angels come and visit you in the new. Apparently, yeah. That's, that's what that's it true. is. Yeah. Angels come and visit you. But you know what else happens on September 1st? Uh, we go back to the ways that I used to be once again. Nope. No, it's September 2nd comes after September 1st. Anyway, wow. Okay, so. <laughs> well, I'm looking. So, I know. Yeah. So look at you. You've got your little, you've, what the heck? Yeah, wait, we yeah. Just, uh, we have many layers. You know, it's getting really chilly up here in upstate okay. New York. When I woke up, it was um, 11 degrees Celsius, so minus 2 divided by 30. No, my, my studio. Wait a minute. I got it. Stop, stop. Eleven. If it's eleven degrees Celsius, that means it's fifty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Well, this should, yeah. Pretty, should there look pretty. Chili con carne. So. Right. Yeah, well, you know, oh, it's officially finished, yeah. Anusha. Summer what? is finished. It's officially it's the meteorological summer is finished. We're now into meteorological autumn. Oh, Nush, so did you look at the blue moon? What, like yesterday? Did you look at the blue moon? I did look at it yesterday. So it was two days ago, but two days ago is very overcast. So we didn't see it. Yeah, we had a good view. Lift the whole back of the house up. Okay. Wow. We we went through the moon. So. Yesterday we took uh, at the end of the dinner. So we have a lovely one year old wonder who lives with us. And I checked. So the next one is in 10 years. So hopefully he'll be still with us. Yeah, 20, 30, 2037. So in case, so yeah, we went with some tea, playing Frank Sinatra, fly me to the moon. We went on the highest point where we can, where we live, and we watched the moon rising. So it was uh, really you back up on who Blueberry did, Hill again. Wait, That's who fun. did you do that? Who did you do that with? With Byron, our new ninety-one-year-old. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So it was you, Michael, and Byron. Yes. It's not the Byron then, because I thought he was dead. No, no, Byron he, Allen is. Yeah, he's that, dead. He's dead. Does right. love. Very much. No, Lord Byron. Byron Lord yes, Byron. absolutely. Well, wait a minute. I have a question though. So that's a kinky thing. So, so now there's this. Do you have this? You have a 91 year old. You have a 40 year old, and then there's you. He's not 40 yet. He's not 40. When? Yet. Oh, he's 39. He's, a, he's still. He's still a child, Stephen. He's a baby. He doesn't even know yet. Okay. Yes, so yeah. he's on the cast because Noosh is a cradle snatcher. That's what it is. Oh. He's on the cast of exponential growth. I, okay, I but wait. But wait a minute. Let's you go have back to, to you have to buy old. special trousers for that. <laughs> oh god, is, there we go. <laughs> it's not our fault, Noosh. You know what happens is is that we're just we're just childish and, and immature. So it's not our fault. We haven't matured yet. Oh, speak, we're still speak for yourself, yeah, Stephen. Yeah, you're, you're, okay. Speak for yourself. Okay. Well I'm childish. I'm I'm, sure. I'm you know I'm I'm just me. Are I'm, you gonna sing thank you? You are fabulous. Absolutely. You're fabulous, fabulous. David. You're just fabulous. We love yeah. you. <laughs> 
I wanted to go back since you know it's the first of September. I wanted to go back to school and read just the way that we used to do. So I do not have the book of colors, but I do have the guy. Oh. He read the book of colors and he did the same with the stones. So I wanted to read a little bit. Of how, oh, I'm sorry, it's but hilarious. how can you read? How can you read stones? Oh, she's going to do it right now. There's a stone. There's a ruby. She's going to. She's going to read a stone about a ruby. This one is a little long, so I'm just going to read a little tiny uh, bit it, about it. Is it Tuesday today? Then? We have again our French. Wow. Oh, Bernard oh, Weaver. Wonderful. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Dripping down to this one less layer. And then I have a fun little game for us for all the firsts. That okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's see him. Okay, poor spinal. Spinal, I don't know how you pronounce it. What do we like? Spinal. Spinal gives it a little... Spinal bit. sounds good because it has connotations of other things. You're a little spinal. Poor spinal. It has, been, it has been condemned to the punchline of a joke, the imposter that is unmasked. Its only crime is to look somewhat, but not exactly like Ruby. To those who mine and polish them, the difference is apparent in the crystals, the shape of which are quite distinct. To those who handle them, spinel and ruby side by Ooh. side present individual qualities. The one I tends to a pure, clear pinkish red, the Ooh. other deeper crimson splitting through tints of orange and violet as it spinel. tilts. I wonder which is which. I guess the tilt. Is it's a spinel. Who cares? Spinel. <laughs> <laughs> spinel was once prized. Jo Joanna Hardy who dedicates the first chapter of her book on Ruby to Spinel, laments that laments, laments, laments? L lamented. We, 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 we lamented. Laments that it is now dismissed as a mere curiosity or cheap substitute for Ruby. Historically, Spinels were valued as highly as diamonds and rubies. I wonder what happened to it. Wait, wait. Hey, you spell Spinel for us. S-P-I-N-E-L. S P I A N E L. S P I N E L. S P I N E L. Oh, it's spinel. oh spinel, sure, yeah, that's How a new word. Say? Oh, I spinel. would say, uh, it's it's a spin. say there you go. He says it like, like yeah. it's, it's a spinel. Right. It's a spinel. It's just David says it with that Dutch accent. All of a sudden, I'm getting hungry. Like I should get like a funnel cake. Ooh. Go ahead. Funnel and cake? What's a funnel was, cake? We were, okay, we were back where there was as highly valued as diamond and rubies. The right. finest examples came from Kuch Ilal mine sure. of Badakhshan in the Pamirs between present day Afghanistan and Tajikistan. It has been worked since perhaps to 8th century. No, it has. It has been worked since perhaps the 8th century. There you go. Their origin in Badakhshan led to the red stones being known as balas rubies or simply balas. Unlike the true rubies, spinel crystals can be large and are often left polished but uncut. It's a very kinky sentence for some reason. I like it. I like it. Grandest, the grandest spinels to pass through the treasuries of the Mukhal emperors are engraved with the names of each ruler who wore them. The third Mughal emperor, Akbar the Great, around, not around, okay, 1542, 1605, amassed great numbers of spinels, which, for you. which he wore, touching his skin as protective amulets. If a ruler wore three spinels into battle, it was thought to protect him from injury or death. I guess that's good enough for the oh, bankers. Oh, look, it's very shiny oh. today, the spinel. Oh, wow. do, you know, that, do you know what worries me about? You know what worries me about that book? Oh. That the author, the author probably doesn't have any friends. <laughs> you, know, you know, anybody because he wrote a book about stones. I mean, really? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you write a book about the Rolling Stones is sort of, sort of okay. Yeah. I know, but to write a book about, I mean, about I think stones, I mean, making, why? I think nerds are making a comeback. Don't you think? Who's what, making a stones? comeback? The nerds. Stones. I mean, nerds. I don't think nerds ever went away. Why are you smelling a book, Nish? Oh, it's she so, likes, so she's, she's a book sniffer. Well, delicious. She's a book. 
Dear. How is do it, we say does it stone? smell of schnurdles? Stone in mm. Italian. Stone. La pietra. Obviously. Okay. La pietra. Everybody knows that. That's crazy. Why wouldn't we know that? Yeah, you have to do all the hand bit to go with it. You know, right? Oh, yeah, the Italian I love. The hand. The hand gestures. Okay. This one is for you. And by the way, all of you out there, just so you know, it is 10.01 a.m. wherever I am. And my computer is at about 20% left of life until I find the plug again. So this is why I'm uh, chop chopping with my little cadence over here to make sure I can. Well, hey, Noosh, just in, case you, just in case you die mid-show, thank you very much. We love you. And uh, we'll see you uh, next Friday. So oh, don't forget to subscribe and like, everybody. <laughs> I do still have 20%. Don't you be wary, my dear. Let's see. Oh, all right. So this is a first. So with the first, we should all have a lovely drink today. Okay. And with that, I will be reading about something that is called, in French, cranqué. Oh, is that French for alcoholic? Mm, I wonder, maybe. It's an undercover, maybe, alcoholism. Okay, tranqué. It oh, you mean you have to bless drink you. with a blanket out, have to drink with a blanket over your head? Yeah, bless you. You sneezed. You said cranky. Cranky. You want a spinel? <laughs> you little spinel, you. <laughs> Don't you say good tight? That's what everybody no, says. No, we say spinel. Now we say spinel. Spinel. We say spinel. No spinel. 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 Yeah, Don't talk. We're going right, to spinel. Tranqué, tranqué, est une tradition franque. We spinel. En trinquant, chacun devait faire tomber une goutte de son verre dans celui de l'autre. On lui pouvait ainsi, on lui prouvait ainsi qu'on n'y avait pas introduit de poison. Plus on tapait fort, plus il y avait de chances d'échanger un peu de son vin en le répondant, et donc plus on était considéré comme honnête. So to cheer when you knock mm -hmm. the glasses between each other is so I don't know if Frank means a Frank as a no French. So it's a French tradition or a Frank tradition. Let's 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 roll with both. God, if any French. I thought we were talking about Frankfurters. I got all excited. We're oh, gonna it eat. Could, have been, sure. could have been the Frank. Could have been the Franks who brought it down. Maybe oh it's yeah, you can't touch those Franks. How, how do you, how do you say when you when you do chin chin? Cheers. 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 So when you cheer, the. Everybody, everybody was supposed back in the days. The reason Spin why it. you do that is so that you have one droplet at least of wine going to the glass of the other, and the, and in that way you will know that nobody put any poison in their drink. Ah. The more you hit the glass, the more you'll have a chance to exchange much more of your of your wine. Right, and therefore, Bernard has, has, is that what he's telling us? And therefore, it would be it, it would show that you're the most Honest person at the table. What yeah. a crock of crap that guy wrote. Are you kidding me? When I mean, they, he, I, yes, please give me yeah, a break. I mean, he, he's him. sponsored by he's sponsored by the you know, Dutch wine counts, obviously the uh, French wine counts. Yeah, like really, come yeah. on, Bernardo. Hey, when's you know, wait, when when's Bernard coming on the show so we can call him out on all this crap that he writes? We 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 asked him and we have radio silence. Twice oh, I sent an email my most to his publisher. So he won't pick up for me. Right okay. here. For my most productive month, find Bernard. Yes, yeah. we've asked Bernard apparently to come on the show, and he's denied us because he realizes that he can't be in the presence of a spinel, and that's why because we have a spinel today. No, I'm I'm gonna find him, guys. I'm okay. going. To find him. I'm going. To well, he'll come on for he'll come on for new. She probably won't come on for us. <laughs> oh, he'll come on for me. That's good enough. That then you'll benefit from it. Of All course. right. So I have a second one. Come divide. Okay. Les femmes fonctionnent, so I mean, well, a lot, I don't know how many people are going to be happy about this. I do not care. Comme des vagues. Les femmes fonctionnent par vagues. Leurs humeurs, leur humeur varie. Quand elles chutent, leurs compagnons s'affolent et essaient à toute vitesse de résoudre leurs problèmes pour ralentir leur descente. Ils les empêchent donc de descendre au plus bas et de toucher le fond pour, pour pouvoir remonter. Aussi, n'en finissent-elles pas d'aller et venir dans les zones en abîme, sans jamais trouver le fond où elles auraient pu prendre appui pour remonter. En fait, quand la femme se plaint, elle n'exige pas que l'homme l'aide à ne pas chuter. Elle réclame seulement d'être écoutée. Elle veut un témoin de son expérience, sa descente, son contact avec le fond et sa remontée. Mais l'homme s'affole trop vite. 
il veut prouver qu'il est tellement fort qu'il peut stopper ce genre de phénomène. Ah, ah. Comme si un homme pouvait arrêter une vague. <rire> Mais en empêchant la chute libre, il empêche aussi la remontée franche. C'est un peu comme ces médicaments qu'on prend dès qu'une qu fièvre se déclenche. Les médicaments arrêtent la fièvre et empêchent le corps de chauffer suffisamment pour brûler le microbe. Il ne faut pas avoir peur de ce qui descend et de ce qui chauffe. Si on ne s'en préoccupe pas, le plus souvent, ce qui, ce qui descend finit par remonter tout naturellement. Et ce qui chauffe finit par... A lot of sucky there. <rire> ce qui devrait plutôt nous inquiéter, c'est un corps qui ne connaît pas de fièvre et une femme toujours d'humeur égale. Oh, God, I can't wait for feminists to come at me with this one. <laughs> okay, let's hear, what, let's hear what the feminists won't like. All right, so, as waves. Women function as waves. Their moods vary. When they go down, their companions... Whoa, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, it, 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 it. When, when they well, okay, when they fall down or when the, their humors go down, their their companions tend to get very not dreary and try as fast as possible to resolve their problems to slow down the descent. Therefore, they impeach them from going as as low as possible to be able to touch the deep end. The lower, the better, baby. And the deeper the end, the better. To, to be able to touch the end, to be able to go, go back up. Therefore, they never, like it up. They never stop go, from going back and forth in zones of abyss uh, without finding the end where they could actually finally take, you know, like take feet and go back up. By they like their feet up. <laughs> so... In that way, when a woman is unhappy or is annoyed or is in not the best mood, she's not asking from the men to help her to not go down. She only asks to be listened to. She wants, right she wants a witness to her experience, to her descent, and to her contact with the end, mm. and then her, her rising back up. But men are going too cuckoo too quickly. They want to prove, he wants to prove that he's so strong that he can stop that phenomenon, as if a man could stop a wave. But by impeaching that free fall, he also impeaches the frank uh, swimming back Butter? up, the very strong swimming back up. It's as when you have a fever, when you start having a fever, you take medicine. Medicine stops the fever and impeaches the body to warm itself enough to kill the microbe you don't need to be afraid of the dis of what goes down and what warms oh, oh, oh yes you do <laughs> or what is hot if you let it be most often whatever goes down go up naturally by itself and what warms up uh, get <laughs> cool, get cool again. <laughs> wait the one thing that you should be very wary and worried about Is a, two people go down. That, is a body that will never know a fever and a right. woman that is always in the same Going. mood. Oh, I thought you say a woman that never goes down. You have to worry about a woman that never goes oh down. My God. Sword player. Oh, my <laughs> God. Anyway, any, any thoughts? I have lots of thoughts, but they're all triple X, and it's a, <laughs> apparently it's a kitty show. Yeah. So, All right. Wait, what else do we have here? We have Mr. Happy. Oh. <laughs> Is this how we're ending the show with Mr. Happy? Well, we're not ending. I still have 14%. So, all right. Well, how about you? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I forgot. Okay. We got to play a game. Yes, we are, we are playing a game. It is the first. Okay. It is the first. And let's see. Okay. What is the first thing that you remember? When? Come on. When, when I was a baby? What, whenever, what is the first memory you have when you were a baby? I don't know. Well, oh, there was a, there was this, memory. there was a what you would call. I remember the, I remember looking out the window and coming to Earth. Yeah. So. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> right, In David. our ship. Yeah. <laughs> David. David. Um, the first thing I remember is um, coming out of somewhere very warm to somewhere very cold, and somebody smacking me on the ass. Oh, God. That was last night at Hilda's House of Pain. Stop it. So. 
That's what I, that's my first memory of life. See, really? That's yeah. That... I'm, that probably being dropped on the floor. Oh wow! Many times, many times. So see if I see if I see yeah. if I bounced or not. All right. What's the first dream you remember? Wow, that's interesting. The first dream first I remember. Dream? There were seven I remember girls. All my, I, re I remember <laughs> all my dreams. That's the problem. All right. What's the first one you remember? The first one. Well, you can ponder on that. Okay. What is your first favorite thing? My first favorite thing? Yes. Like my dog. Thing? Your dog. Mm. My dog. Mm, I, I had a I had a panda called Percy, which I evidently was um, went everywhere with me. Aww. You had a who called, called Percy? Percy? What? A, a panda called Percy. You had a panda. It's like the macaw. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly smaller. I've got. I've, okay. I think he's here somewhere. A mini, a mini version of it. All right. So, it's my. Uh, I lost. I lost the big one when I. Well, I think I got thrown out when I was a child. But so my mother. My mother made me a very small one. Ah. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's, per if we're gonna, that's if... Percy. That's Percy the panda. There's my panda. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. See. Yeah, I need a panda now. I know. I have my blue panda yeah. right there. I don't know. Can you see him? I thought, thought what about Dennis? Yeah. What about your teddy what about the teddy bear? He should, he's always there. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm oh, got, oh, yeah, yeah, but we're showing we're showing her pandas, so she's jealous because yeah, she's a panda. That's right. Well and, uh, her bear might be out on a bender again like he normally is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, what uh was your first trip? My first trip on LSD. No, um my first trip. <laughs> Uh, when was my first trip? Well, I lived in New York, so we drove all over New York. So that would be my first trip. Like we just drove upstate, downstate, you know, Brooklyn, Bronx, nice. Bowery. Yeah. What about you, David? Uh, my, <laughs> strangely enough, I spent most of my youth on building sites because my father was a, a chartered surveyor and uh, my mother was a professional housewife. So at the weekend, she'd say to my father, oh, where have you been? You know what? What are the one of the jobs you've been working on? And he'd take us to one of his building sites somewhere. So, yeah, cool. lots, lots of lots of muddy building sites. Nice. So, any cool buildings that he built? Or that he lots was? of lots of gas stations and fire stations. And if uh, you're into that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. all right. What is the first? When was the or what was the? What is the first time you kissed? That's like not English, but your first kiss, basically. To a person? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's a tricky one because your first kiss would be to your parents yeah. and your grandparents. And then if you're talking your first kiss to a woman or a girl. Or oh, a girl. Anybody that is not your family. Oh, that would be Sister Mary, may I? Yeah. Ooh, she's a hot nun. Yeah. Cool yeah. penguin, like the outfit. So I'm sure my, my first kiss was when I was six or seven. I think I kissed a girl behind the stairs. Wow. Yeah, she was twenty. I just got. Yeah, she liked it. <laughs> I kissed the I kissed the girl and she liked it. Yeah, and she cried. Yeah, everybody does. Yeah. So. Oh my god. Um, what was your fir first favorite song? If you remember, like the first song you were like, "Wow!" And the Archies. Oh, honey, honey. Oh yeah. Oh, sugar, which was sugar, which was all day I it. She's all AI, in fact. Huh? If you think yeah, about it, back in the day, that was my favorite. That's the one I remember. <laughs> yeah. That and the bananas from the banana split television banana series splits. in the 60s. It was like one yeah. banana, two banana, three two banana, banana, four, three banana, four, 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 yep. five yep. banana, six, six banana, seven banana, banana more. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Never, say, never yeah. seen that. Oh, yeah, I have. Anyway, so yeah, that and the Archie's um, uh, Sugar were my favorite two songs growing up. That and, you know, the Scooby Doo yeah. theme, apparently. So. <laughs> David, oh, it's got to be the Be uh, Beatles. Well, Beatles for me because we always, my sister was a big Beatles fan, and um, I remember that we stayed up really late to listen on the wireless. Um, to um, to in fact, uh, the America, uh, the Beatles playing it playing in Candlestick Park, mm. um, which nice. was you know like, like very weird and very bad quality, but that's one of the early things I remember. Mm. So, a big cool. Beatles fan. Very nice. I killed All one right. the other day. I squashed it. it yeah. Last one, house. but not the least. Yeah. When was the first time you discovered that you were awesome? 
The day I was born, baby. The day oh, I was born. Why did you just say that? You're such a fucking crazy cuckoo bird. <laughs> David, what about you? I don't consider myself to be awesome. I let yeah. other people decide if I'm awesome or not. Mm. Really? I think you're pretty awesome. Oh, Thank you. And today was so the now, day he just found out he was awesome. Congratulations. So, so, I'm, I'm now, I'm, so it's the 1st of September. There you oh! go. 20, 20, 2023. 23, a big day. There you yeah. go. All right, let's see. Well, I have 11%. Look at that. I'm doing pretty good. Well, what else? Yeah, but once it gets to 10%, it's going to fall really quick. So, so we have one good 1%, and then. Well, that's what they all say. Most of the girls say that to me all the time. You got one good percent, pal. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to read this. Again, okay. Flying guy. And, um, and I think this one is good for the beginning of this is going September. To be here. I guess it's kind of the beginning of the year. Right. We're closing the show with this one. Amusez-vous avec votre look. Changez de coupe, de teint, de lunettes, de maquillage, de montre, etc. Have fun with your look. Change your haircut, your glasses, your color, your makeup, your watch, etc. Classez les articles de presse qui vous donnent la pêche. Classify all the articles that give you a pep on your beat, a beep in your pep, a step, spring a, in your jump. There you go. What is it? A spring in your foot. A spring in your step. A spring in your, a spring a spring in your step. Spring in your step. Yeah. step. Uh, visiter un, un aquarium avec des poissons tropicaux. Les couleurs sont magnifiques. Go visit an aquarium to go see all those amazingly beautiful colors. It is magical. Consacrez I'm, votre. I'm very cruel. I guess it is. But yeah. well, do they know really that they're in an aquarium? Yeah, of course they do. All, yeah, but nobody, sen yeah, but nobody sentient beings. Needs them. Mm, well, you know. Ooh, a little polyglot français. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. right, consacrez votre temps à l'essentiel arrachez-le au reste ou ce qui n'est pas essentiel n'est pas utile I love this one consacrate consacrate concentrate no consacrer uh, constipate no consummate uh, no like concentrate no. <laughs> uh, consacrer well make a priority like, like prioritize your time for everything that's essential Rip okay. off everything else. What's not essential is inutile and useful. And useful, it's not a good translation, but it's basically it sucks. So get rid of it. I like it. Noosh, we love you. You're the best. Aww. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you next Friday. Happy first, everybody. Happy first. Any yeah. last words before we say goodbye? Yeah, charge your charge your phone up more. That's what I can charge say. your battery. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. You can't find your charger. Why don't you buy one? Yeah. Well, that's a very astute idea right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should buy one before you run out of power. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I say that because I'm really selfish news because we'd like to have more than half an hour. We'd like to have uh, a good 45 minutes. That's oh. yep. All right, okay. we, we're gonna let, we'll let you go. Have a wonderful week. We will see you next Friday. You and your fans, I'm sure, will be very happy. And that is it, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Put your comments below, and we'll see everybody next Friday. Bye. Bisous.